KCSE 2020 Chemistry Paper 2 Question number 2 Chemical Equilibrium and Reversible Reactions First question State what is meant by the term dynamic equilibrium So we've agreed that this refers to a state of balance in which forward and backward or reverse reactions are taking place at the same rate but in opposite directions. The marking point here was same rate for one mark. To the next question, dichromate 6 ions are orange. So here we have dichromate 6 ions, they are orange, while chromate 6 ions are yellow. Here they are, they are yellow. Then we are told to consider the equilibrium between the two. So, the examiner is asking us to state and explain the observation that will be made if sulfuric 6 acid is added to the mixture. So what happens, sulfuric 6 acid will introduce hydrogen ions that will react with our hydroxyl ions here to form water. In short, we shall be decreasing the concentration of our hydroxyl ions. How will the equilibrium shift? The equilibrium will shift in a manner to increase the concentration of the same. So we say here that the backward reaction will be favored or the equilibrium will shift to the left. For that matter, the observation would be that the intensity of the orange color increases. So the expected response here would be the intensity of orange color increases just as we have said in our discussion. So this was one mark. You go ahead and explain that addition, addition of hydrogen ions from sulfuric 6 acid removes hydroxyl ions. Hence, equilibrium, equilibrium, shifts to the left. This has an alternative that backward reaction is favored. Or a student would also write that more, more dichromate six ions are formed. This for the next mark totaling to two. Next question. One of the reactions in the manufacture of nitric 5 acid involves catalytic oxidation of ammonia shown in the equation. And this is still reversible and we have the enthalpy change for the reaction shown as negative 909, which means the forward reaction is exothermic, but backward reaction is endothermic. The question goes ahead to tell us that the reaction is carried out at a pressure of 10 atmospheres and 900 degrees Celsius temperature. Question part one of B, other than nitric 5 acid, name another product that is formed. So this one is called nitric 3 acid. 
is formed together with nitric 5. We accepted the symbol as well, or somebody would also call it nitrous acid. Any of those four, one mark. So to the next question, we are asked to state and explain the effect on the position of equilibrium if the reaction is carried out at 10 atmosphere and 450. So here, you take note that we have reduced our temperature from 900 to 450. According to our equation, the forward reaction is exothermic, but the backward reaction is endothermic. In our discussion, we've agreed that decrease in temperature would favor the exothermic reaction. So, the expected observation here, or the expected effect here would be that forward reaction. Forward reaction is favored. Somebody would say that equilibrium shifts to the right. Equilibrium shifts to the right. And why are we saying this? We are saying this because decrease in temperature, like we have done, decrease in temperature favors, it favors the forward reaction, which is exothermic. For the second mark, together with that, giving us a total of two marks. Part two, we are now maintaining the temperature, but increasing pressure to 20. Remember, originally our pressure was only 10 atmospheres. So for pressure, we shall look at the gas volumes on the left, and I have 4 plus 5, that gives me 9. And on this side, I have 4 plus 6, that gives me 10. Now, in part two, I've increased the pressure. So when I increase the pressure, the equilibrium will shift to the side with less gas molecules. And for that matter, the backward reaction will be favored. So your answer here would be equilibrium shifts to the left for one mark. Or you can say backward reaction is favored. For the same mark. Then you go ahead to explain that increase in pressure, like we did from 10 atmospheres to 20 atmospheres, favors the direction of less gas molecules. That would be the answer for a total of two marks. Part three, absence of a catalyst. We've agreed a catalyst has no effect on the position of equilibrium. So the effect is nil, and then you explain that catalysts do not affect position of equilibrium. Half a mark for no effect. Catalysts do not uh, affect position of equilibrium. Another half, total to four. Now, part C. State and explain the effect, this time on the rate of a reaction. If the reaction is carried out at 10, We've maintained pressure, but we have reduced temperature. So decrease in temperature obviously decreases rate of a reaction. So a student was expected to write here that rate of the reaction decreases because we have decreased temperature. This is one mark. Go ahead and explain that decrease in temperature decrease in temperature 
leads to decrease in the kinetic energy leads to decrease in kinetic energy of the molecules or somebody can say decrease in frequency of effective collisions this is according to the collision theory for the next one mark total two our last question is quantitative and we are asked a factory uses a hundred kilos of ammonia each day to produce 160 kilos of nitrogen 2 oxide calculate the percentage yield so the first thing that we are going to do is to calculate the relative molecular mass of our two substances here nitrogen 2 oxide and ammonia so let's start with ammonia and ammonia is 14 for nitrogen plus 3 that gives us 17 and then for nitrogen 2 oxide this is 14 plus 16 I get 30 from here I can get moles of ammonia and moles of ammonia I would have the mass in grams so a hundred kilograms is the same as 100,000 grams I divide by the RMM and that gives me 5,882.35 moles looking at my equation the mole ratio between ammonia and nitrogen 2 oxide is 1 is to 1 and therefore I can also get moles of nitrogen 2 oxide to be the same because mole ratio is 1 is to 1 from here I'm able to get the mass of nitrogen 2 oxide and this I do by multiplying number of moles by the molar mass which I've got to be 30 and that gives me 17,600 I mean 176,470.56 grams that is the mass of ammonia I will produce so to get the percentage yield I'm only getting 160,000 if I convert these into grams so I'm only getting 160,000 grams out of expected 176,470.56 so to get percentage I'll do that division and then I multiply by 100% to give me 90.667% as the percentage yield in terms of awarding marks, a half for RMM of ammonia, a half for RMM of NO, a half for this division, a half for this multiplication, a half for this, and lastly a half for that. This is three marks. Students, we've come to the end of our very long video where we have reminded you of what you need to know in reversible reactions and chemical equilibrium. Thank you for your support. Keep it the Kenyan teacher.